there is footage of Darnell Wright. They're, they're pulling their right tackle all the way across the line to lead a block. You don't see that often, if at all. You really don't. And he did it more than once. And he, he's getting there quick enough to where he's affecting the first guy's hitting and getting to the second level. I know more times than not when we talk about weaponization of, of players, we're talking about the skilled players, wide receivers, running backs, quarterbacks. You can literally weaponize Darnell Wright because his because his uh, unusual athleticism. And the reason why I think the Bears answered your question why they went right tackles because they felt like well, Braxton, his feet are good, his agility is good, his 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 usage with his arms are, are pretty good. We can we can tutor that along, he just needs to get stronger. He needs to become more functionally strong as an NFL player. And we can work on that in the offseason. So if I have two, I being the Bears, have two athletic tackle, bookend tackles, I can do a lot of things. And with the running game, keep in mind, the Bears led the league in rushing last year, over 3,100 yards in rushing. Yep. For Broke the worst the team all-time the record for Bears rushing yards yeah. as a team. It, which a is season. crazy because historically we are the running you know, right. organization at yeah. NFL. Never had – Justin Fields. <laughs> True. And that made a big difference, no doubt. Yeah. But he only counted for one-third of those yards. Right. You know? Right. So you're talking about a team where everybody knew you can't pass. We can't pass. We don't know if the quarterback can throw the ball, but we know he, can't have, he doesn't have time to pass. His receivers can't unfurl to get themselves open enough to catch a pass. And then when they do, they drop the pass. <laughs> so <laughs> they can't pass. They can run. So go into every game knowing we have to stop the run. No, we have to stop Justin from running. No, we have to stop the Bears from doing whatever they need to do to try and advance the ball down the field, and they couldn't do it. Now your offensive line is arguably better. Your interior is a lot better. It's athletic. It's nasty on the inside. Moving white hair, and if he does stay at center, I'm, really, I'm good for that. Just working the shotgun releases, but I'm good for that. And having Tevin, I know he's moving from the right side to the left side. And I know there's going to be adjustments. It's going to take some time for those guys to synchronize together. But you've got Nate Davis, nasty. We know Jenkins is nasty. Cody, proven nasty. And now you've got Darnell Wright, who we've seen nothing but nasty in college, where you asked the premier off, or, uh, edge rushers coming out of the SEC and B.J. Ozolari and uh, Will Anderson, who's the guy they struggle with the most <laughs> without hesitation, Darnell Wright. And now you've got Braxton Jones, who just by osmosis should become a little more nasty <laughs> because everybody else next to him is nasty. Well, and everybody's telling him he needs to get stronger. Yeah, right, so, <laughs> right. Hey, I'm sure he was right. rage pumping. Yes, <laughs> there's nothing more you know, to your ego than to hear that. So, yeah. But my point is you have a very athletic, mobile offensive line now, and you can do a lot of misdirection. You can, you can pull either side. And then if you do 12 personnel, you put Tunyon and you've got Komet. Now – you know, you can run to either side. Nobody knows what you're going to do. If you think back to when the Falcons made the Super Bowl run that year that they went, there are times where they were playing 12 personnel. Sometimes, you know, they have three tight ends back there, and they had one wide receiver, and they were killing everybody. It's like they couldn't stop it. And you look what they did in that whole playoff run. They destroyed Green Bay. It was just like a steamroll. It's like, what are they doing? It's just like because you don't know what you're going to do out of that formation. And if everybody can run and catch the ball that formation – I don't know what you're going to do, and you can misdirect it very easily. And I see the Bears doing a lot of that going forward. And if you look at what gets you where he comes from, he's that, that same tree, you know, from LaFleur and also I think LaFleur, i.e. Shanahan, if I'm correct, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to see the Bears implement what they did really well last year and help Justin be able to have not have time to pass, but also have time for those receivers to get open, be open.